queue again for another ferry. And uh, a little bit of a surprise this one because we didn't mean to come this way, we were going to go over the bridge, but uh, actually it's quite nice to use the ferry. Never been this way before. So it's another adventure. So it's just up there looking at the leather shop. And the ferry's now coming in. So we have to park at the front of the line. Go and have a look, see if we can see the ferry. The ferry's just donking. <laughs> sitting in the cab here waiting for a ferry to board aren't we <laughs> this time it's going from sky to mainland to malague which is um yeah just north of fort william but uh it's the old crossing before the bridge was built actually uh, this one i'll show you a map as we do but uh this was a bit of a surprise because all sat nav we didn't check sat nav before we left we just said oh we'll just put it on of course sat nav decided that we were going to go on the ferry so we managed um, to get tickets yeah, there's room for us, uh, even though we're uh, just on, under seven metres. And uh, literally, as we went and got a cup of tea from the little kiosk over there, one pound fifty each, <laughs> um, the ferry docked, and uh, here we are uh, in the queue waiting to board. And we've only got another, well, less than half an hour before it's supposed to leave here and, and go across. And, uh, and I don't think the crossing's very long. I don't think it's more than about 30 minutes. So that should be good. Um, an, an unexpected but very pleasant surprise, don't you think? Yes, makes yeah. a change. So, uh, it's a lovely day, lovely and sunny. Yeah, blue sky. We're leaving sky and the sky has turned blue. Um, and we're going across to see an old friend that I haven't seen for 40 odd years. So uh, he's very kindly invited us for uh, coffee and cake. This is from Sky to Malague. It's only this one. So I think we can stay in the vehicle for this one. So I'm just waiting for the cars to go. And we're the only motorhome. Some catwavans, eh? Yep. Beat up in California. Mm -hmm. I'm sure we've been following him about. <laughs> Here we go. Thanks, guys. get a bit of fresh air we sat there and everybody was getting a view um, yeah nice little view out of there is it yeah it's a bit bumpy yeah not far from land but there's some beautiful they're gonna go on the open deck yeah long tight it's moving about a bit <laughs> so 
Sorry about the camera swinging a bit, but we are moving about fairly. in the van for the last quarter of an hour or so. Well, good morning from Scotland and uh, we're coming towards the end of our tour. We've been out on the road for more than three weeks and it's time to start heading south. Sad, but we need to get home. So we woke up to this beautiful view behind me. Smurf has parked just in front of me on the top of the uh, hill on the road. And I'm just walking Oscar. Uh, Sophie didn't want to come far, so she's gone back in the van and Oscar and I are walking along the beach. We visited uh, an old friend, uh, Steve, from school. And uh, that's a long time ago for us. <laughs> and we did have a lot to catch up on, but uh, Steve provided us with uh, our dinner last night and we just sat talking until late. So we're going to get on the move again this morning. We're going to take another ferry. And uh, if you want to know where we are, and uh, you look up the Caravan and Motorhome Club site at Bunry, uh, we're on the opposite side of the lock. So we're going to take that ferry across. We're going to go past the Caravan Club site and head towards Glencoe this morning. Um, the choice was to go that way or to take the Oban Road along the coast. And uh, we've decided that uh, We've done a lot of coast and we'd like to have another look, if we can, at the uh, Glencoe area, which will just be a drive through, but um, it's always gorgeous along there and uh, it's time we did it again. So you don't have to book here, you just queue up and then drive on and they seem to become quicker than what our buses do in Ipswich. They seem to be coming every sort of 15-20 minutes. So that's what the locals do apparently, so they don't have to keep going up those little windy roads. I think we're going to be going shortly. There we go. And we've, <laughs> we've arrived. Minutes, yeah. Saved a lot of driving. Well, we're pulled over for coffee and uh, we're at a fairly, fairly popular spot here um, and it's one of our favourites. And this, in the distance here, is Loch Tuller. And uh, 
there is a viewpoint I'll swing around in a moment you can see where cars are parked and uh, it's a strange sign there saying no motorhomes between 7 a.m. and 7 p.m. I think it's because the car park just gets stuffed full of cars but um, there's a lovely uh, open part a piece here of gravel uh, where you can park your motorhome and, and I've seen people overnighting here quite a bit we did it as I say before I'll, I'll pan around and show you the spot it's really quite pretty and here's Smurf uh, it's a bit windy so I hope the wind's not troubling you on the microphone too much um, over is the, in the distance there is the viewing point where all the cars are and then if we uh, turn around to the right the road is now running behind me and round to the right it's just starting to rain but quite a lovely view from here uh, across the lock and it is quite misty over there this morning but uh, still a very very nice spot here we really enjoy it here Well, I'm going to jump in the van again now and uh, play driver and uh, we're going to turn off this main road here and uh, see if we can find a waterfall. We've been given a tip that there's a nice little circuit to take which uh, is quite pretty so hopefully if the rain stays off we'll be able to jump out and take a picture uh, of some waterfalls. Well, we stopped off at a little place called Glen Orkey. Oi. Yeah. Recommended by our friend Steve. And uh, the little journey. drive, the little drive the along this road. lane, yeah, the little drive yeah. along the lane was very, very, very pretty. To the right was um, little waterfalls and things, weren't yeah. it? Yeah. And uh, it follows river. the river, doesn't it? Yeah. So we've jumped out. We've parked in a, a formal car park here, which is uh, meant for us. Toilets, so not just in a park, and you know, in a parsing space. There's several people stopped in parsing spaces, but that's not a business to do that. So um, we're here. We're going to go, go and walk along a little bridge, aren't we, and mm. see see what we can see. Hopefully, some waterfalls. Let's go and have a look. We're on the bridge looking across now and if you look through the bridge you can see quite a few waterfalls down there and there's some down here as well. I'm not quite sure whether you can see through the through here. So we're gonna take the, the riverside path and see if we can pick up a few shots along there. Stand on that rock. Um, it's quite slippery, so 